Thanks for watching TechWiki. Click the subscribe button, then enable notifications with the bell icon so you won't miss any future videos. Have you ever gotten all excited over your powerful new PC build, then realized once you started gaming on it that it sounds like a miniature wind tunnel in your bedroom? Indeed, excess computer noise has been an issue for a long time, so it isn't surprising that these days, just about every major case and cooling manufacturer, including Be Quiet, who sponsored this video, offers some kind of quiet series. But what makes them quieter? And what else can you do to cut down on noise? Let's start by looking at the cases themselves. Many cases marketed as low noise add some kind of dampening material to the inside, usually foam. The reason for this is pretty simple. You know how an empty room with hardwood floors makes your voice echo when you say something? But laying down some carpet has the opposite effect? Same principle. Softer surfaces have a microscopic structure that allows them to trap sound rather than reflecting it, making foam a cost-effective and popular choice. Well-built quiet cases will also often feature vibration dampening features, such as small rubber grommets that hold mechanical drives in place to keep them from transferring vibration to your case's plastic or metal frame. Of course, you still need a way to push heat out of your case, so oftentimes quiet cases will come with, you guessed it, quiet fans. Computer fans are equipped with a wide variety of different bearing types. These are the little bits in the center of the fan that actually enable it to spin. You can learn more about them here, but Here's a TLDR. Common sleeve bearing fans are cheap for manufacturers and can be reasonably quiet when they are new. The problem is that compared to ball bearing fans, which are a bit more expensive and typically louder, they tend to wear out much faster. And any worn out fan is a loud fan. <laughs> Trust me. As you move up into higher end designs, you can get to have your cake and eat some of it too. Rifle bearing fans share some design similarities with sleeves, but they are better lubricated, which increases their longevity. Moving further up the food chain, we find fluid dynamic bearing fans that do a better job of keeping the lubricant between the fan and the seal using high pressure. This cuts down on friction, making them much quieter. And finally, you can even get magnetic bearings where the bearing doesn't even touch the body of the fan, kind of like a maglev train, which makes them insanely quiet. But because those are also quite expensive, you'll often see quiet cases designed to use fewer, larger fans, as they give you lots of airflow at lower RPMs, which helps them stay quieter than their smaller counterparts. Which leads us perfectly to another way to cut down on fan noise. If a slower fan is quieter, surely one that's off is even better. Some high efficiency power supplies feature a zero RPM fan mode, which means the fan won't spin up at all when the system is idle. Though it should be noted that once you fire up a game, the fan will need to spin. So zero RPM mode isn't an excuse for a manufacturer to cheap out on it. The same is true for graphics cards, which can have as many as three or four fans on them and be a huge source of noise under load. So keep a lookout for GPUs that are cooled well enough to not need the fans all the time. Some can even play basic games with the fans off. <laughs> Crazy. Regardless of what kind of fan setup you have in your PC though, keep an eye out for components that allow you to set custom fan curves. Some motherboards and cases include a fan controller, so you won't be fighting a losing battle against a PC that thinks it knows better than you how much cooling it needs. <laughs> yeah, right. But what if you simply don't wanna mess around with more fans than you absolutely have to? Well, it is possible to buy passive heatsinks for your CPU and GPU that you don't strap fans to and therefore are totally silent. But not only can they limit your overclocking potential, they can also be really bulky and unsightly. So you may wanna pass on a case with a window if you go this route, root. A more popular option is to liquid cool your rig and simply place water blocks on your CPU and graphics card combined with a radiator with quiet bearing fans. The only thing to watch for here is the quality of your pump. So make sure to thoroughly check reviews as just like cheap fans, cheap pumps can wear out quickly and get very noisy. And finally, keep in mind that even if your cooling system is quieter than a church mouse, it's still important to pick components like power supplies and graphics cards that won't suffer from coil whine or electrical noise. So make sure to read reviews and see if a certain model you're looking at is susceptible to it. Otherwise, that high pitched distraction might totally wipe out any acoustic benefits you got from spending your entire tax refund on an RGB nickel plated water block. The Be Quiet Silent Base 601 delivers the perfect combination of maximum silence and an excellent usability for remarkably quiet configurations. 
It's got noise dampening vents providing excellent air permeability with maximum silence, extra thick insulation mats of 10 millimeters in the front, top, and sides, and two pre-installed Pure Wings 2 140 millimeter fans. There's also a three-step fan controller catering up to three fans, a power supply shroud, and smart hard drive slot covers providing a neat interior. It's ready for radiators up to 360 millimeters, and it's got a side panel made of tinted and tempered glass. There's a three-year manufacturer's warranty, and the product was conceived, designed, and quality control controlled in Germany, so you know it's good. Check it out at the link below. That's it for this video, guys. Thanks for watching. Like the video if you liked it, dislike it if you disliked it. Check out our other videos, and comment with video suggestions, and don't forget to subscribe and follow all of us everywhere.